So here I am on a free Saturday afternoon. Kind of a rare thing. Uh, I just got done with HEMA practice, just had lunch, and I find myself with very little to do this afternoon. Uh, it is a long weekend. It is Memorial Day weekend in the United States. Uh, and so I have this kind of extra long weekend. And normally when I'm working on something, I'll sit down in front of my television and I'll work on a project like, uh, like this right here, a big chainmail project. And I'll just kind of chip away at it uh, every day as much as I can. And certainly on a big, long, free day like today, I might work on it a lot. But I came across something really interesting, uh, and that is this, the VEX Robotics uh, Catapult Kit. And uh, it's interesting, this one is, uh, it says it's a STEM starter kit, and STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Uh, and so STEM actually, from like a school perspective, will end up having a lot of overlap with things that I do uh, for work. And so I figured, well, it'd be a lot of fun to just kind of build this, sit down, watch some TV and build it. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build it and once it's complete, I will give you my thoughts on it. So let me get started. Okay, so this project took me roughly an hour to build. Uh, not that long, I made a few mistakes along the way that I had to kind of go back and fix. Uh, the instructions are pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, not too much difficulty in actually putting it all together. Uh, very interesting, straightforward, and rather ingenious build. Um, doesn't work strictly like a, an actual catapult would have been built. Um, but definitely has all the primary mechanics down. Uh, there's a lot of extra pieces over here. That is because there are a couple of alternate builds. You can do a race car and a trike. Um, of course, I wanted to build the catapult. Uh, it gives you three of the little missiles and even gives you a little place to store them, which is, is pretty nice. And the, these balls are basically like little tiny uh, ping pong balls, essentially. So I will go over uh, the mechanics and how it works. Uh, again, very similar to an actual catapult in many ways, uh, and then we'll test fire it. So the mechanics for the catapult are actually pretty straightforward. Uh, the parts that you have essentially is the base, which has the wheels, the frame that comes up and also has a stopper portion, and then you have the arm, a torsion arm for the catapult. Now this one has about a 20% uh, crook in it to allow the projectile to come out at a proper kind of high angle. Uh, the way this is designed, like I said, is a little bit different from normal catapults, but uh, it, it is pretty straightforward. Um, so you have at the bottom of the arm, you have essentially these little rubber bands that act, um, that actually connect to the back and they act as your, uh, basically your potential energy as you crank it back. And the cranking mechanism is actually fairly accurate to how a catapult would actually be designed. Uh, so here on this side, we have a very, very simple, um, crank kind of thumb crank, which would be something much larger, larger than an actual catapult. 
Uh, and as that gets cranked back uh, this way, you can hear it going. On this side, you can see that uh, there's a gear with what is essentially called a ratch. And that's like a ratchet. Uh, you think about like a ratchet uh, wrench. Um, something that allows it to only turn one direction. So there's that little pin that as it moves right here, you can see it going up and up and up. Okay? And it, it keeps this arm back. So as I keep cranking this, the arm keeps going back and stays back until I get it to where I want it to be. Then I can simply put the ball in there and I have right here my launching arm so it seems best to me because this is wheeled that it will go shaking everywhere you can kind of hold it down um, as best as possible but then you launch wow that went really far i'll do a couple more test fires just for you